Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to part two of my How to Trade series. If you haven't already, make sure to go check out part one. In part one, I just talk about how to get your first items and, like, basics to trading. But if you already have items in your inventory, then here's a good place to start. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use those items and actually start trading and how to get, like, your basically your first 100 credits or your first couple items in your inventory. So before we do get in this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And also go check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash suffocateyt. And yeah, I will be streaming every weekdays or so, so anyways, make sure to go check that out, and yeah, let's get right into the video. So now that you have an item in your inventory, you're going to actually want to know more about that item, like what rarity is, what paint color it is, and certification, and how that affects the price of the item. Your item probably has a, like a fainted color in the back of it. The color represents the rarity of the item. So if it's like a light blue, it's a rare item. If it's like a purple then it will be a very rare item. If it's a red in the back, then it will be an import. If it's a yellow in the back, then it will be an exotic item. And if it's like kind of like a shiny purple, then it will be a black market. So there's also things called limiteds in the game. These limiteds have like a brownish faint background and some of them are literally like useless. They're worth like nothing, but also some of them are worth a lot. But these limiteds you can get from the rocket pass or from like seasonal challenges. So the rarity basically means like the price in it. So if it's a rare, it's worth like very little, but like if it's a black market, it will be worth like a lot more. But it can depend on the item. Like a titanium white octane, it's only import and it's worth like way more than most black markets. So now that you looked at the rarity of the item, you're gonna actually wanna look to see if the item is painted or not. To tell if an item is painted, you're gonna go to your inventory and look at the item. And right above the name of the item, if it has like a banner that says a color like orange, saffron, cobalt, or crimson, or titanium white, or something like that, then it's that color. And that basically means from the original item, it has that certain color that it says above the name on the item. So for an octane around the edges, if it's titanium white, it has white. If it's crimson, it has red. If it's sky blue, it has like a sky blue color around the edge, and that's just basically what painted means. If an item is painted in general, it could be any color except for burnt sienna, then that item is already more value than the original item non-painted. Some burnt sienna items do not look as good because it's kind of like an off orange, that's why it's not valued as much. So like, for example, a burnt sienna fennec would be worth less than a regular fennec, just because of how bad the burnt sienna looks. But the most valuable paints that you are going to want to look for is titanium white, crimson, and sky blue. All the other colors are like basically around the same price, but those three items they like different with titanium white being the best and crimson being second, which they can vary the price by a lot. So another thing with paints is when you're on RL Insider, make sure to select the color that the item is because the prices can change depending on whether it's non-painted or painted. So make sure you click on the paint color that you have just so you don't get the wrong price when you're trading. So another thing that could be on your item that can change the price of it will be a certification. A certification is just a little add-on thing to your item that tracks a certain stat while you're actually using the item. And right now, when you're just beginning trading, the certifications do not really affect prices. They only affect prices if like it's striker and it's like a really valuable item. So now that I covered the basics of your items and what they like, actually mean to be painted and certified and stuff, now let's get actually trading your first item. So I'm going to show you how I actually went from one rare drop all the way up to 100 credits. But just make sure you follow my steps. You might not have the exact same item that I do or the exact same trades. But make sure you just follow my steps of how I look up the price of the items and how I actually trade them. So here we go. We are in Rocket League and we have a rare drop right here. So in this rare drop, I can get a rare, very rare, or import. So let's see what I get. So I actually get a breakout type S smord. So this is like a rare item, as you can see by the faint blue color in the back of the item. And this item is like the least valuable item you can get from one of the drops, but it's at least worth 10 to 20 credits because it is something called a non-crate. A non-crate item just means that it didn't come from a crate. And if you didn't know, we had crates prior to the blueprint update, and the crates were from a series, and if you open them, you get an item from that series. So if you didn't get it from a crate, you want to have a series and therefore you can trade it in. So basically trading up items or trading in items means that if you have five non-crates of the same rarity, 
you can trade them in for another non-crate of the rarity right above it. So you have five non-crate rares, you can get a non-crate very rare. If you have five non-crate very rares, you can get a non-crate import, and so on. This ability to trade items in gives these non-crate items a little bit of value. But anyways, now that we actually have your item in Rocket League, you're going to want to go right to RL Insider to search up the price of that item. So I searched up Smord on RL Insider, and as you can see, on Xbox, which is the platform that I'm on, it is 20 to 40 credits. So now that we know the item value, we're going to actually want to look on RL Garage first to see if anyone has any offers for the item. And I looked, and since there was no offers for this item on RL Garage, I want to go right up to looking for group since it's a non-create rare and it's very easy to trade. So on looking for group, I put up a post. I am new to trading. I have one rare and one anything. Me saying I'm new to trading just gives it more of a like sympathy feel. Like I'm new to trading, so they're just gonna give me an item for it. But also when saying uh, that you're new to trading, there can also be a bunch of people that are trying to just take your item for like a really really small amount, even though it is worth like basically nothing they're still gonna try to scam you for the item so right away when i put up that post I, read, I had a bunch of people interested but half of them were just trying to scam me and this guy was actually being serious he actually thought i had a very rare but i said i only had a rare and i wanted any offer and he offered me these purple reticles so right away right when he offered me that i looked on rl garage which sadly they had no offers for them and i also looked on rl insider to see the price of the item so I looked on RL Insider, and these purple reticles are worth 40 to 60 credits, which are 20 credits profit from our previous item. So this next trade actually didn't take that long to find, but this guy's being pretty annoying. So the trade timed out. So that times out means basically you accept the trade, but it doesn't even like happen. And he offered me Leak Shield and Ying Yang. So obviously I looked on RL Insider for the price of these wheels, and... Leak Shield were worth 50 to 70, and Yang Yang were worth 20 to 40. So overall, basing off lower lowest prices, that was 70 credits, which was a 30 credit profit on the trade. So this next trade, I get really lucky, and this guy, he wanted these Leak Shields, and he was going to pay 70 credits for it, but his trades were on trade lock because if you didn't know, if you buy credits, you trade you can't trade them for a couple days after you buy them. But anyways, he then offers me Zombas. And Zombas go for 70 to 250 credits, but they only go for 200, 100 to 250 if they are non-crates. So since it was like a regular item from an actual crate, it was worth like 70 to 100. And I know that's definitely a huge profit. So then basically right after that, I sold the Zombas for 100 credits exactly. There was a couple of people that wanted them for 100 credits, but I took this guy's offer and yeah. That's how to make your first 100 credits in profit, and I actually made 100 credits and the yin yang wheels that are worth 20 to 40. It's around 120 to 140 credits in basically just a couple days. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and also follow me on Twitch and TikTok. My Twitch is Suffocate with two E's. I am going to be streaming basically almost every weekday. I'm doing custom tournaments where I do 100 credit giveaway to whoever wins it. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe on this video to see future episodes of my how to trade or future videos of mine. And yeah, see you next time. Peace.